So just dive a little bit more into you personally, right? Um, how do you juggle your work life and your family life? Well, I'm blessed that my family actually is, uh, well, my wife is an introvert and she loves to read. And so she needs her, her personal time. And uh, my son is a typical teenager. So he, he lives a lot of his life, especially right now during our, our COVID days on Xbox. So I actually have a lot of time to uh, get done what I need to get done. And uh, I'm really the, the most extroverted of the whole family, I think. So um, that has a bit of challenge. Uh, so what I'm able to do is to kind of, I decided early on, it's kind of like you go to work, you have one boss, you do your one thing, right? It's like, what's my boss want me to do? And you do it. When you're an entrepreneur, especially when you have a variety of income streams, like I do, I'm an adjunct professor at a school. I have a full-time position here at Dallas Seminary. I have my entrepreneurial uh, apologetics guy project. Um, I also work for Pearson Education, in which uh, I facilitate a course for them as well in Christian worldview. Instead of thinking like, well, now I have you know three bosses or whatever, I kind of look at my whole life in a holistic kind of way. I also have my PhD, so in that sense, I'm kind of my boss there too, as far as I need to get my writing and research done. So I just think of it as, as a variety of buckets in an overall arching uh, focus of my life right now, which is generally speaking to help Christians better engage culture and defend the faith, explain their faith with courage and compassion. That's the overarching narrative of everything I do. Gotcha. Whether it's the, the high level academic stuff, whether it's the uh, entrepreneurial stuff on my, my personal side, or if it's the, the day-to-day work that I do teaching students or um, working on the podcast, uh, it's all just, it, it's, a, it's a holistic thing for me. Gotcha. So, I mean, you, you, just, you just really pretty much described is that your, your niche is one thing under the umbrella and you have multiple tentacles, but all these tentacles feed into that one core yes. niche. You always come back to that core value, which is great. Mm -hmm. That way you're not diversifying. You're not stretching yourself too thin. Everything you're doing is for the same common goal. Right. And, and I'm, not, I'm not going off into, oh, now I want to start an unboxing channel and start reviewing laptops just because it's lucrative, right? Um, everything is, is singularly focused. But the beauty of that is that they all work together. Mm -hmm. So I'm able to take uh, table podcast material and use it for my apologetics guy side. I'm able to take... Uh, a curriculum that I wrote or a speech that I gave at an event and use it here at the seminary. And so it, it helps both ways. 